cable for the gauge we're using. Take off the negative battery terminal. Unplug this plug on the alternator then lift this off and undo the power cable from the alternator. These are the tools you're going to need. Right stuff, <clears throat> gasket sealer, Teflon tape, whatever the hell you want to use, it doesn't really matter. You're going to need a three quarter for this uh, Amazon adapter and then for the sensor is a 15 16. Remove this little cover with 10 millimeter bolts. Loosen this 12 millimeter and then unscrew this to loosen the belt so we can get the belt off of the alternator. Loosen this 12 millimeter bolt and then the alternator will be loose. Then you can pull off the belt and now we can get to pulling the alternator off and out of the way. So once you get the alternator out, it's the sensor right underneath. I'll zoom out so you can see. So we're going to undo this connector and then unscrew the sensor. To get the sensor out, you're going to use a 15 16. Now take the adapter, put sealant. You can use Teflon tape, you can use RTV, whatever makes you happy. And we're going to screw this in. And then this opening here is going to face towards the firewall so that we can actually get the other sensor screwed in. When you go to put this connector on, you're going to have to rotate this facing towards this uh, recess back here. Plug it in and then you can tighten it to the right a little bit more like we did here. Just make sure you're not smashing the wires into the manifold. And now we can screw in the factory sensor again. So I got the sensor screwed in. I got the metal tab facing the same angle as the sensor below. And now we're just going to plug it in. And this is all done. Then we're going to run this wire through the manifold somehow. Or up and around probably. And then through the firewall. Go ahead, reverse the steps, put the alternator back in, and then we're going to move on to the wiring and the gauge. Once the alternator's back in, plug the connector back in and put the battery wire back on. Alright, so we have the wire coming across because we don't have a lot of extra length. Stop talking! So we have the wire coming across the top here because we want to stay away from the turbo and we don't have a whole lot of extra length and then um, I'm just going to zip tie it to the water meth here and then we made another hole in that grommet on the firewall back there pushed it through and now we're snaking it up to the top gauge pillar or middle gauge area right there we're going to install this gauge into the uh, pod so you take off these brass nuts, slide the gauge in, this retaining black piece goes over, and then you tighten the nuts and it should hold it in. So you're going to take this wire, the red and the black, you're going to go to switched power and ground. Don't mind this mess that was there before I got here. Shut up. So now, so now we're going to take this plug, plug it in the back of the uh, gauge, put the negative back on the battery, tighten it up. All right, first startup. 86. Let's see if I give it some gas if it moves. I'd like to thank everybody for checking out my video. Hopefully this can help you install oil pressure gauge into your car and uh, save you some money. So check out my Patreon. Hit like, subscribe, all that happy horse shit. Till next time, wrench off.